Hi, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal. I decided my new doll series is going to be about five sisters and their mom who own and work in a sushi restaurant. But of course, that meant I had to make a doll sushi restaurant. The doll sushi restaurant took me about two months to create. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. First, it started out as a cardboard box with two of the walls cut off. To make a tatami floor for the restaurant, I used this burlap fabric that I found in the paper section. I thought this decorative paper with a red Japanese onsen wave design was great for the walls. And I used these balsa wood rods also to add interest to the wall. I started by mod podging the wallpaper to the two walls and the burlap paper to the floor. I also wanted to cover up the ugly spot between the wallpaper and the floor and I decided to use this duct tape with a burlap design. To make the design on the tatami floor, I used this black project tape to outline the floor. However, very quickly, I ran out of that project tape. This was how far I got when I realized I needed to go buy more. In the meantime, I cut down the balsa wood sticks and also glued them to the walls. From Etsy, I found these Japanese art stickers that I thought would be perfect as decorations on the walls. I added three rows of two Japanese art stickers to each panel of the wall, except this one, where I decided to put a sign. Now about this floor, I ran out to Michael's to find more of the black project tape, but they were all out. So I would have to settle for using this sparkly glittery black project tape. I used it to complete the design on my tatami floor, and honestly, it didn't look too bad. To make a booth, I'm using Hunter and Fabel as models to measure how far out from the wall my booth wall should be protruding. I used those measurements to draw a rectangle on a piece of foam board. After I cut it out, I drew a slight slant at the top of the rectangle because I'm going to cut off that top triangle so that the booth walls can support a roof. This is a roll of repair tape for when you have cherry colored furniture or cherry woods in your house. I'm going to use it to cover up my booth walls to make it seem like both booth walls are made of cherry wood. Now that I've hot glued two booth panels to the walls, I have Hunter modeling how high I should make the bench that they sit on in the booth. So this is the bench that the dolls will actually be sitting on when they're eating in the booth. So that's about the right length. I use this wood grain paper to cover up the bench seat. Now that that's done, we need to elevate the bench. I cut out these squares based on the measurement between the ground and the dolls behind. And that's how high the bench should be. I covered those squares in the cherry wood repair tape and hot glued it to the bench. I put an extra square in there for more support in the middle, and now it's ready to be glued in place as the bench in the booth. Now I'm just going to repeat the process for the other side. And this too is ready to be glued in to the other wall. A cool thing I found on Amazon are these miniature Chinese paper lanterns in red. You can put an LED light in there and light them up. These are the mini LED lights that I got. I found them on Etsy. And if you, I wanted to attach these to the contraption that holds the lantern open. So I did it with hot glue and a piece of twine and I figure I can hot glue the twine to the roof of the booth so that the dolls can have lighting. The dolls need something to lean back on in the booth, so I cut up two rectangles of the foam board and I decided to cover them up with the fabric from this old pillowcase that I had. And these are the bolsters that the dolls can lean back on when they're eating. Of course, the dolls also need a table to eat on, so I chose that wood grain paper and covered up another piece of rectangular foam board to be the dinner table. And here, I'm just sliding it in to check the length. Of course, the table's not gonna float in the air by itself, it needs some support. So cut up another foam board rectangle and covered it with the same wood grain 
paper as I did for the benches and now the table in the booth is also complete. For the roof, I cut out a foam board rectangle that was as long as the entire restaurant. And I chose this metallic red paint. I painted the foam board. I then used these wooden matchsticks and I painstakingly glued them on to the foam board to resemble the corrugations in the roof, almost like a Japanese pagoda or temple. This took me forever. You can see how long and slow it is. But I finally got done and I painted everything red again on top. And now it is time to hot glue the roof in place. With the roof hot glued on, this completed the booth portion of the restaurant. I think that the red roof gives the restaurant a very unique touch, but now it's time to make a sushi bar. First, let me talk about the sign that I put in place on the other wall. It's a framed chalkboard that I got at Michael's and I used this chalk marker set to draw some, I guess what they're called is kawaii sushi or cute sushi, and I'm calling it bodacious sushi because the name of the family that owns the restaurant is the Bo family. And now that sign is glued in place. Also, I wanna mention that a couple years back, I had bought this miniature fountain and I actually dug it out. I found the rocks that go inside, put in some water and it works. So I'm super excited to use this also in the Japanese restaurant. I think it'll be a nice touch. Okay, time for the sushi bar. It's essentially going to have an L shape and I cut out rectangles of foam board. I also cut out foam board and covered it with the cherry repair tape to make the counter that supports that L shape. Here I've hot glued those pieces together as well as the bottom part of the L shape. And now all that remains is to hot glue the top part of the L shape to complete the sushi bar. And voila, there is the sushi bar plus another lit Chinese paper lantern. Then I decided to make a podium and I needed to know how high it should be. So I measured Hunter between his shoes and his elbow. I used those measurements to cut out a piece of foam board. I actually did two pieces that had this shape. I cut out another rectangular piece of foam board for the front of the podium. I covered all the pieces with the red cherry wood repair tape. I hot glued them together. You can see I'm about to hot glue on the final piece. For the top of the podium, I cut out another rectangle of foam board and covered it with this same wood grain paper so that it would match the benches of the booth. I also added a shelf so that the dolls can store menus there. I thought the front of the podium was a bit boring, so I cut out another piece of foam board, covered it with the Japanese onsen wave wallpaper, and wrote some Chinese characters to make a sign that says Bo Family Sushi, and then had found another chalkboard sign at Michael's and used chalk marker to draw on that as well. I thought that that would be a nice touch to put in front of the podium. Yay, I think that looks very welcoming. Okay, now it's time to make some glass cases for our sushi bar. More of these long balsa wood strips, some gold project tape, covered those up and hot glued those to the top of the sushi bar to be the base. These are those matchsticks I used on the roof, painted in gold and hot glued together. And this is some plastic from doll packaging. And I just hot glued the doll packaging and the gold matchsticks together to create a glass case for the sushi. The dolls need some stools to sit on. So I took three Gatorade bottle caps and I covered them in a red leathery looking project tape from Art Minds. This is what I used. And for each stool, I cut four pieces of dowel rod to the height that I wanted the stool to be. And then I used this wood grain duct tape to cover up each of those dowel rods. Then I hot glued them into the bottom of the Gatorade bottle caps. Because it seems still a little unsteady, I cut four more pieces of dowel rod. Then I hot glued those little dowel rods between the four legs of the stools to create more stability for the dolls. And voila, three stools done. 
To make the menus, I created some menus in PowerPoint and shrunk them down to about two inches tall and printed them on regular printer paper. Then I am going to use Mod Podge to glue them to doll packaging. Then I cut them apart and glued them back to back so that it looks like this. And I made three of them. And now we can slide the menus onto the shelf that we created in the podium. Yay, we are all done. Let me ask my daughter what she thinks. What do you think, honey? I think it's really cool and I would actually like to eat there. If I was a doll, I would go there all the time. Aw, that's the best compliment ever. If you guys like this doll sushi restaurant, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell. Thanks for watching.